During my work as an entomologist in Brazil, I have studied and documented many insects. But one of my top favorites so far, and surprisingly also one of the most common, was the 88 butterfly, the Aetria climena. This insect is just incredibly gorgeous and is found in a variety of habitats. Today I am going to tell you all there is to know about this amazing, charismatic little creature from the tropics, because the whole world deserves to know and learn about its beauty. Welcome to the Brazilian rainforest bug highlight of the day, the 88 butterfly, the Aetria climena. Let's get started on this beauty. This is Bert Coppens and welcome to my bug highlight. This is the 88 butterfly, the Aetria climena. Most commonly it is seen in open areas, such as parks, gardens, but also near rivers, lakes, meadows and lowland roadsides. Reportedly this species is a frugivore, which means that they primarily drink juice from fallen and fermenting fruits, instead of nectar from flower flowering plants. Males of this species are also found mud puddling in mineral rich areas, such as stream banks or even on urine. The Atria climena is common near human settlements, in disturbed areas near forests. That's because their host plant, Trema, from the Ulmacea family, is a plant often associated with the early stages of succession or forest edges. It also appreciates stream banks and roadsides. Thus, the butterfly is quite often found in parks, gardens and roadsides. Reportedly, in some places in South America, the butterfly is associated with good luck. The Atria climena does have a subtle but variable appearance. And for example, the black bands can be thick or narrow and the pattern can vary a little. The 88 can sometimes look like a 98 marking instead. But this is just natural variation. The species likes to perch low in the vegetation, but still several meters above the ground, facing down to the ground. The caterpillars of this species, which I was lucky to also find in Brazil, are unique. It has two devilish horns that almost remind me of antlers. Caterpillars can be abundant on the host plant in the peak breeding season of this insect, although due to heavy predation and parasitism, populations can collapse following these peaks. The upper side of the butterfly is just as beautiful as the underside. It's equipped with two highly iridescent blue bands. What a marvelous creature! And reportedly, they are not difficult to breed. Although my time in Brazil was too short to do something like a butterfly breeding program, if I had more time in Brazil and more facilities, I would definitely breed these. I for one am in awe. This was Bart Coppens with the bug highlight. I document species of invertebrates from the natural reserve known as Regua in Brazil. This helps their conservation and spreads awareness for the reserve as well. Sadly, my channel is demonetized by YouTube, however, and YouTube refused to tell me why. I don't make any money from my videos, despite uploading over a thousand videos. If you like my show, consider tipping or donating. I rely on crowdfunding to make more videos, sadly. Bye bye, hope to see you in my next one.